Yo, what's going on? Volcano Beats, the Sampler King, live in the flesh, back in the lab, pots and pan audio, you know how we do. Today I'm going to be taking you through my favorite five software EQs. Yep, those software EQs you use inside of Logic and Pro Tools and Ableton and whatever else. Not hardware, we all know how I feel about hardware, no, software. So we're going to get into my favorite five, whether that be features, just general uses or just like years I've been using them. It doesn't matter. We're going to get into my favorite five. So, so hit that like, hit that subscribe. We're going to keep bringing you that content. Now let's get into it. let's get into it so today we're gonna to be going through my favorite five software EQs I got them loaded up in my session it's a track I was just working on I just wanted to bring them in like I say I'm really for showing exactly what I'm doing with these plugins rather than trying to tell you what every knob does and every little I'm, I'm attacking it from a practical sense so first up is the UAD API joint this has been one of my favorite plugins for a long time since I actually got my hands on a real one and found one on the computer that gave me that same type of feel. So I basically, I use it to add weight. So when I'm using like something like that guitar, but I got it over the whole thing, but just an example, I would use it over that guitar. Let's put it on that track. It's a sample track. To beef it up a little bit and to add a little shine. The solo that guitar. Yeah, it's not much in the way of all type of bands and everything to work with. You don't. You got five bands to work with, but they're fixed bands. You got 5K, 7K, 10K, 12.5, and 15 up top. It's a shelf, so you can add a little shine. If I put it, put the um, put it over the 12K or something like that, I can add a little shine. 15K, I can. Or if I'm using working with something that has too much high end, I can kill it. You know. I use this one as my sweetener because you can't really get in and do all the craziness with it. So I don't use it in that way. Like in a surgical way, I use it more like to sweeten and just to add like some retro feel. My mid band, I never really use this mid band because I don't have any control over like the cue of it or anything. And the bands it's fixed on really never work for me, except for 0.8. Maybe that can help on some vocals, boosting a little 0.8, 800 hurts that'll help sometimes it's according to the song but i rarely use this mid band i'm mostly using this for the top and the bottom um down below you got your filter which is dope which can be used you high pass or low pass filter you can use them some, so of the highs yeah, just bring them back then filter out some of the lows like i say it's, it's pretty cool to use so yeah just giving you an example of like just playing around with some of the parameters seeing like the different flavors you can get from it i love this thing i've been using it for years now um no this is the only thing that comes close to the real thing in my opinion but yeah with just us playing around with just small stuff made that guitar pop out a little bit more add some body to it So yeah, that's my favorite plug plugin in. to add a little body, add a little top end, add a little realism to a vocal bus, things like that. Moving along, next in our, my favorite five is the SSL BX console, SSL 4000G, the Brainworks joint. I'm a plugin Alliance subscriber, so I love this thing. I love the fact that we get all of them. But if I had to pick one, I actually went and bought this one since I've been subscribed, to be honest, because I don't want to be without it. So if something happens and I can't afford my subscription anymore, at least I have this one because I went and bought it. One of those weekends it was on sale. So, yeah, this thing I'm, I'm mostly using the EQ section. I use the compressor sometimes, but I'm more of an optical, slower compression type of person because I'm making mostly hip hop, mostly R&B, mostly soul. So. 
I'm not really recording drums that much, so I'm, I don't need my compressors to be super fast. So I'm not really using this compressor because this compressor is super fast and it doesn't really work for me on some stuff, especially like this. Like it would work on my brick that I got in there, but just the overall track, nah, it wouldn't work. So for this one, I'm using mostly the filters in the EQ section. So I love the filters. I love the fact that you can definitely hear these filters. It's not like some of the other ones where you like, man, am I filtering too much of my filter? Nah, you gonna know with this thing. So. Yeah, see, like it filters, like it doesn't filter, it filters. And I love that. I, I don't like like halfway. There's no point in halfway filtering. I want you to filter. So yeah, that's our low pass. That's our back to our high pass. And we got this three times button where we can go to two, two, um, like 20 hertz, hit the three times button. And it's like, it's like whatever you're doing is like times three. So even though that says, 400 and something is really like at 12k so it's crazy you can get some real so even down there at 50 you really up at like 150 so yeah you can do some things with it same thing up top and this one divides by three so you filtering that i don't even want to try to do that math but this one divides by three now you can hear it it's gone like <laughs> So I love the filter on this SSL clone that, that Brainworks made. And I call this a clone, like, and that's a compliment because some of these SL plugins, SSL plugins or whatever type of analog emulation is not exactly like it. These things are like it. Um, I had the pleasure of working on a few SSL 4000s and I can't say the only thing is better than these plugins is the real thing and, and a real clean one at that because I worked at a studio that had a crappy one and this plugin is better than that. So a clean G series SSL is the only thing that's better than this plugin. So yeah, I like the fact that this middle band, well the two middle bands, basically you can get surgical with them. You can make the Q wide or small big or small um you got a nice range you for, on the low mid you got from 200 all the way up to 2.5 which is crazy that's a, that's a big range and on a high mid you got from what you got 600 all the way up to 7k so basically you can hit everything there's no band you not you can't get in tune with and your bottom on um, what's different about this one is the bottom the top and the bottom they aren't switchable they're just shelves so like i said i'm using these mostly to like to add some bottom or cut some away I'm, I'm working with a song or a beat that has too much low end or something i'm cutting some cutting some like 120 or something like that or if it's too much sub i'm going down to 50 and cutting some so yeah i, I like using this plug in because it basically lays it out and wh when it says it does something it does something and I will say one thing to look out for on this one is the shelf is kind of harsh. I don't remember the real thing being harsh, but the shelf is kind of harsh to my ears. So when you push the shelf up, yeah, you you got to watch and make sure you don't push it too much because it gets kind of harsh. Some of that low back in. Cut some of the eyes. Yeah, so this plugin does its job. Like I say, this is my favorite, one of my favorite EQ sections. This thing up in here. So we're gonna go moving along. Is the stock one inside of Ableton. This is one of my favorite ones because I'm doing with it what you shouldn't do with it. I, I mostly have it on RTA mode so I can see what's going on. But this one has a cool feature or two that you don't see in most EQ plugins. Over here, this mode section, majority of the time you'll just have it in stereo and just use it like that. But like this plugin, this gives me the option where a sample like the one I'm using on this song right here, 
it's more guitar on the right side than it is on the left. So I can actually process the left and the right separate. So you switch it to left right mode, then boom, you have the ability to edit the left and the right, which is nuts. Um, I only remember like using about two or three plugins that give you that ability to be honest. So, and, and it does it in a clean way too, which is crazy. Um, and you're able to switch back and forth super fast. I love the fact that the scale button, this scale is basically, it's basically like a restrictor on top of like what you're doing. If you do this crazy EQ boost, it's only going to affect it like gives you like the ability to do it like whatever percentage you put in here. So if you put it to 100, it's going to give you every bit of what you did. You can actually go past 100 all the way to 200. So you can get crazy notches and crazy bumps by using this scale, which like I said, this is not, I've only seen this in like one other plugin. Um, next up, as far as the features of this plugin that I like, I just like the fact that you got what, seven bands here and you can make them whatever you want to. You just click on the d drop down menu and then you just make it whatever you want. You're not stuck. So this is like one of the most like adaptive EQs I've ever used, man. Like I left it out of my initial post. I wasn't thinking, you know, the fab filter is dope, but I'd be lying if I said I used it more than I use this. I probably use this every joint I do. So I had to omit that one and pick the favorite five, like the most used five I got. And I forgot about the EQ8 inside of Ableton. I use this like every beat. So yeah, that's the next one on my list for my favorite fives. Next up, it's probably my favorite plugin out of all plugins is the Waves F6. And once again, I'm using the, the RTA version, which I shouldn't be using, but it's a habit now. I like to look at what I'm doing and I need to stop doing that. But this one gives you that dope option. Um, it's a dynamic EQ. So basically I'm pushing down what's coming up or I'm pushing up what's coming up, one or the other. So I like the fact that you can go either way, set my thresholds, boom, like on two. If I want my kick to bang harder, boom, I set my threshold, set my gain up, and then when it hits that, it's gonna push up some or do it the other way. Bring it down so that I'm cutting some of those kicks. Um, it's just a regular dynamic EQ, but I love the fact that it has this option in here and you can solo each one which is crazy so you can actually go in and fine-tune what you're doing I love dynamic EQs for the fact of like me being a producer as well as an engineer when you're working with an artist they come in with a beat pre-made you got a dynamic EQ you can kind of control some of the craziness that we put into the beats as producers we're not always looking at it to make it the cleanest and clashing with vocals and stuff like that so that's why I loved my dynamic EQs and for the fact I'm a producer that uses samples. So basically when, when I'm using pre-recorded, I'm just gonna solo the sample. When I'm using music that someone else created, I don't have control over like what they were doing. Like this, like this guitar part, I may wanna boost a little bit in a higher range. I got my dynamic EQ to boost it up when it gets to that point, but that may, boost up well let's grab the, this joint it may boost up something here that i don't want it to boom i got the option to cut it down put my threshold down boom so yeah i love this thing from the different modes it has um it's one that definitely is worth every penny play around with it like i said this is my favorite plug-in and in addition to the six bands you get filters on the bottom and the top which is crazy yeah, I love this plug-in. You got to turn them on. They don't come on with the plug-in automatically. You got to turn them on. You got option. You got the cue so you can figure out your slope, how many poles you want. You got one pole or four, four poles on the top and the bottom, which is dope. You can make it smooth with a 12 or a 8, 12 or a 6, I mean, or you can make it steep with that um, 24. It's up to you. So, yeah, I like this plug-in definitely one of my favorite fives and probably my favorite plugin out of all plugins to be honest 
Waves F6. They had me when I first seen it, and I use it still to this day. Moving on to number five. All right, last but not least, we have Digi Designs EQ7. Probably the oldest one on the list, but still going strong. Um, I just like it for the fact that, like, just like F6, you got five bands in the middle, but you still have the two filters up top and on the bottom. So, and in addition to that, you got a notch that you can create. So that's pretty cool. Um, I like the fact that this one has uh, input and output. So I use it like a gain structure and plug in too sometimes when I need to. So this is one of my favorite ones. I, there's um, key commands to show or solo bands, but I don't ever use them because I'm using a different mind state when I'm using this one. I'm using F6 more like in a creative way. But when I'm using EQ7, it's on the mix side, so I'm using it in a surgical way. So I'm using my ears. I'm not using my eyes at all. So I don't want to see. That's why I don't use F6 in my vocal chain when I'm mixing. I use it more on the end, but I don't use it at the beginning when I'm trying to clean things up. So, yeah, I like the fact that the the bottom band can be taken, can be made into a shelf or a notch. So yeah, the top and the bottom. So even though it's five, it's really like it's almost seven type of capabilities. You can make your cues really sharp, notch out a lot of ickiness that may be messing up your vocal or like if you mixing guitars or something, you know, it's always a weird frequency and a two up in there. So you can use it to get it rid of it. Mostly in the five, six K range, four to six K range. So yeah, I love this thing. Uh, I use it on every mix, every client I ever recorded. I save a preset for them. So the second, third time I record them, I already figured their voice out the first time. So that's why I love this plugin too. It's just that simple. When I figure it out, boom, I don't have to go in. I just have to, they might've been drinking milk that day. So the voice might be a little bit more graggly or whatever. But other than that, boom. It's set and forget. This is one of the most, this one translates across all my systems. Whereas some of those, like, I'm not going to lie, some of the plugins sound a little bit different on whatever system I use. This one translates, man. It sounds the same no matter what. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad one because there's no flare or anything to this plugin. It's just there. It just does its job. So, and you need plugins like that just to do their job. So, yeah, this is my favorite five software eqs and we're gonna end it with the eq7 from digi design that's within pro tools to be honest if they put this one in other plugin pro if they put this one in other programs i may not even use pro tools anymore to be honest this plugin keeps me using pro tools the digi design plugin bundle and this is, is the most surgical one i put this this is the first eq on my chain on my vocal chains I may not, I don't use it too much on drums and other instruments, but on vocals, this is it. I don't need anything else. So yeah, that's my favorite five. So all of the, my favorite fives, except for the Pro Tools, you got to actually have Pro Tools, but all the rest, you can just demo them joints, man. Like, hit me up, let me know what would be your favorite five. Um, I use mine for different reasons. None of them like really do the same thing. The only things that are close to like the SSL and the API because I'm trying to get some flavor with those two. But other than that, they all kind of do different things. And I like that. Um, I like the fact that if you were to go buy all five right now, you would have a plug in for every instance or a situation you may come across. So I like the fact that they don't really overlap. So hit me up. Let me know what you think. We're going to keep it going. Keep it moving. Remember to subscribe. Hit that like. Hit that share. We're going to keep it going. Keep it rocking. Peace.